Welcome one and all to 64. My name is Deep Space Matt, and today my factory floor goes nuclear. With the construction of a fusion reactor, I can start producing enough resources to get to the next generation of machines. How close can I get to the void? Let's find out in 64. All right, here we go with some more 64, and we have a whole bunch of new machines to try and build, so let's get right into it and continue. We need to refill all our silos first, of course. Take a look. Oh, this one. Anybody else down here? Uh, we really don't need these sumps going at all, because we're getting a bunch of canatite just naturally, I think from the chromolite decay. Oh, look at this. There was an update and now we have plus and minus on all of our materials so we can see what we're gaining on. So we're zeroed out on Karenite and we're gaining Elmarine, we're gaining Canatite, Beta Pylene, Hell Gems are kind of in the middle. We're losing out on chromolite, but that's why we're running these irradiators here. Celestial foam going up, hollow stone, we have to do manually. Okay, what do we want to build? Oh wait, any new texts? No new texts. And we probably also want to get these going. There we go. Oh, one more. So we have the Hell Vault, which seems pretty good. We need a million Beta Pylene for that, which is... Probably going to take a while. We're getting 650 a second, but we're also using a bunch every so often. But we have everything else we need for that. What else we got down here? Oh, I had I had a comment to remind, remind me that I need to update or upgrade these coolers here. I have one, but I need the others as well. That should get us going a lot faster. There we go. We're at 26,000 meters. I could probably do these here as well. How much do these cost? Hold on. Okay. They're not that expensive. There, there, and there. Very nice. All right. Uh, what else here? So more irradiators would probably be good. Oh, grab this thing. There we go. Celestial reactor, fusion of chromolites and celestial foam to produce beta pylene. That sounds great, because right now, as far as like our original items, beta pylene is fairly low. And we need that in order to continue making the Karenite. Uh, okay, you know what? I'm going to wait on this right here, because I kind of want, want all these to go off at the same time. Because it's just going to load these two. Same thing here. Maybe I'll wait so I can get them all... All, uh... Synergized. Alright. Celestial reactor. And... Oh, the catalytic preheater. That's right. Increases the speed of any resource conversion machine. I think I want these around the irradiators here. These are conversion, right? Yeah, they're up here grouped with all our other conversion items. Wait, what's going on over here? Oh. Gotta reload all these. I like, heard the sound. Everything was everything was going super slow. Let's fill these back up. Fill these back up. Because we need a lot of this chromolite. One million. Yeah, the reactor a million. The preheater 500k. So we just need 500 beta pylene. We can grab this. And stick it, I suppose, in the middle... If we put it in the middle and we can surround it by irradiators, because the more machines around it, the bigger the boost, up to 300%. Or, well, of course, then we, then we got to manually load them. We could put silos all around it. That's four silos? That's a lot of silos. How much are silos? Wait, no, silos are down here. 200k, they're not too bad. Oh, load these. Oh, and load the big one. Oh man, with these extra coolers, <laughs> these silos are going out super fast. I guess getting the industrial silo 
probably a good idea, but I'm saving up for the million or, or 800k right now. Oh, I guess I could... I could get rid of these silos. We don't need these right now. We could recycle them. That might be a good idea. But let's get this... Make sure we get this preheater. What? 400k beta pylene. Does the side the sail silo doesn't use beta pylene? I was kind of looking. Is there something I can recycle for a short burst of beta pylene? Uh, not really. Hell gem injector thirty three k. Oh, we got a big old burst there. Very nice. All right. Load all these. Uh, I want to run these, but I'm holding on the beta piling. Oh, these are all synced. There we go. So are these. There you go. <laughs> I feel much better now. Should probably go take a look at our rock. I bet there's some hollow stones up there to grab. There's another one. Oh, yeah. There's a bunch. Oh. There's one of these. The whole universe just falling apart here. Oh, are, are we there? Are we there? Preheater. What do we? What are we missing? Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. Uh, get rid of this. Oh no, we lost it. We need. Come on. There it is. Oh, it was there for a second. There. Put it in. Excellent. Oh, we need to. We need resources. We need another 65k beta pylene to fund this. All right, that's fine. And uh, let's put a you know put a silo here. Oh no, we lost it. Oh, we need 356 for a silo. Oh, these silos are expensive. Okay, we can come over here, recycle these silos. There. Just put it right... Oh, come on. There. Go. And actually... The radiators are quite expensive. So let's... Let's see. Load this. Oh, maybe we can move these around. Let's do something... We gotta be quick about it before we lose the resources. A radiator. Grab it back. Put it there. Oh, no, we lost it. Come on, back up, back up. Clicking. Okay. <laughs> and then, yeah, load all these. And then we're going to do the same thing with this one. Move it here. And then maybe put another silo right here. Or maybe not risk that. Just get another silo. 182, 356, almost there. There it is. Load both of these. All right. That should be good. And, oh, load everything here. Yeah, upgrading to the industrial, probably a good idea. Let's get this one here upgraded. Since these are moving so fast now, look at this. All right, next step, now that we got this going, I mean, containment vessels for more chromoliths. I don't think we're worried about that because we're generating so much. Oh, general decay reactor improves chromolith decay performance. There can be only one. Yes. Uh, take that and stick that, I don't know, uh, right here in the center. Oh, geez. What did that do? It made everything a lot more quiet. I, I don't mind that at all. Alright, but then, are we losing? So we're losing our chromoliths. We should get bursts from these irradiators. Alright, what else do we have here? We have waypoints. Teleports the next existing waypoint to you. I still have no clue what this does. 
Annihilator produces void when hell gems annihilate with celestial foam. Requires a hollow stone. We need 8 million up here. 500k of the... Was it called? Elmarine? Elmarine. And 2k of the hell gems, which we're not getting. In order to get the Annihilator, we need to have the hell vault up here. Maybe that's the next step. So we can insulate 1,024 hell gems from the environment. We need 1 million beta pylene. Uh, in order to get beta pylene, we need to be continuing to run this. All right. <laughs> this excavating channel just blinking at me as our hell gems increase and decrease. All right. Uh, these resonators, what do they use? we can help out around here. We use Canatite, Karenite, and Chromolith. Does that hurt our Hell Vault? That does not hurt our Hell Vault, really. So I don't mind getting some of these. And then looking at our pattern here, we have... Wait a minute. No, that's the same. Oh, no, wait. No, this is 25R. Okay, so that's good there. Oh, but now we're running low on Karenite because we're saving up the Beta Pylene to 1 million. Okay, we're going to continue to save. 700k. Eight, oh, yeah, we're going to get this easy. And I suppose we put these over maybe by uh, our underground silos here. Man, these lines are crazy. Oh, grab this. Or maybe we just stick them right here. All right, there you go. 900K. Looking good. Oh, load this. really just all about reload, reloading silos right now. These guys are running. I presume it's going faster. You know what we could do? Wait a minute. How does this read? Catalytic preheater increases the speed of any resource conversion machine if placed next to one. Each converter increases the preheater speed boost up to 300% if eight machines are affected. Okay, we don't need a radiators, right? We could, like, stick... We could do this. And then it'll... It'll boost it. Actually, we might have wanted the enrichment vats instead. Oh, we are super slow down now. As I presume the hollow stone is messing with time. Or maybe we're messing with time because we're messing with the hollow stone. Oh, we have a million beta pylene. There's the Hell Vault. We're just gonna... Maybe down over here. Alongside these things. There we go. Hey, look at that. Alright, what's the next one? Three million for the next one. Okay, <laughs> this is gonna take a while. Oh, grab this. Alright, what other new... We haven't done the Celestial Reactor yet. Produce tons of Beta Pylene. Oh, that's probably what we need to get more Hell Vaults. Right, because it'll turn Chromolits and Celestial Foam. Fuse them to produce Beta Pylene. Can't operate in close proximity to other Celestial Reactors. We need a million Karenite. We have the Material Streamer Tower 2. I'm, you know what? I'm not too worried about that. That's kind of like an extra thing. And the waypoint and the annihilator. Which I feel like the annihilator is the next step after we get the rest of this done. Alright, let us start running these things again. Can we get a 
We get a silo on these. Where's my silos? Right here. No, because we can't even afford it. Well, we can get rid of this. And then that should... Oh, no, what did I do? No, get rid of it. Get rid of it. <laughs> I thought I had pressed Q before grabbing that. Well, we're running these. How much do these cost? Oh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. 4K on the Karenite. We need to get this. These are no good. We want we want these down here. Where are they? Oh, we can't afford them. The enrichment vats. Okay, manually run all these. And get those running. I mean, we could also do the same thing here as we have with the irradiators. In order to get the preheater. It's not that expensive. 500k of the Karenite and the Beta Pylene. Oh, this one's slowed down. Oh, and this one on the corner. All right, uh, we need to... Oh, we need to reload these. Okay, this is probably going to take a while to get back up to a million. Yeah, I wonder if it's worth it to get the preheater on here. To spend that 500k. How much are we getting from all this? We're at a 100k right now. Uh, that's, a, that's a fair amount. Let's put a silo here. Load this. Alright, well, now we're just in hurry up and wait mode. Uh, let's go take a look at our lovely rock. Grab some of this. Say hello. Still bongs. Uh, load this silo. I just noticed we have on our little cursor, there's little dots around it, which seem to be where we need to reload things. That's very cool. I don't know if that was like that last time. I didn't notice. It might have been with the update. Alright. Uh, even the containment vessels, I feel like we don't need them. We could get rid of them for a bunch of chromolit. Not chromolit. Karenite. Karenite? <laughs> All these names. All these names. Another irradiator costs another million. Are we slowed down here? We are. I can, I mean, at this point, I can hear the difference. When everything's humming along, and then there's just a change in the, the cadence of the machines. Alright, maybe we get rid of these... These containment vessels. We really don't need them, right? And they're going to give us a bunch of material back. Yeah, look at this. 187, 182. Let's just get rid of all of them. I don't think we need them. Now we can make a reactor. Look at that. Do you want to stick this right here in the center? I don't know where's a good spot. We're going to do it. We'll load it up. And see how that works. Okay, so we gotta wait for it to hit its spot. Oh, look at this. Celestial Reflector. 
improves an adjacent celestial reactor's performance. Ooh. Okay, so we want some of these. 500k. We can do this pretty much immediately, pretty soon here. Hopefully before this... Oh, it's moving awfully fast. Okay, come on, beta pylene. Oh no, don't these guys don't activate. Don't activate. Oh no, they're gonna <laughs> they activate too soon. They're gonna use it all. Grab it, grab it. There, put it right there. We got it. We got it before these things try to eat all my beta pylene. Look at that by seconds. By seconds. Okay, let's see how much this actually gives us. And we probably want like a preheater here too as well. I mean I don't know which one is better the reflectors there's no there's no numbers on here are there no i'm assuming we want more reflectors just because it's specific to this one specific to this one uh machine what we could do actually we could put a preheater like on the corner here put uh reflectors around this so seven reflectors preheater on the corner and then, since it's out here, we can put a bunch of these, like, vats around it as well. Just to help the preheater move a little faster. Something's slowed down here. Oh, did it work? Did I miss it? I missed it. I have no clue how much it gave us. We're up to 400k. Alright. Oh, we also need, like... We're gonna need, uh... A silo here as well, aren't we? All right. Anything else new? We can, we can make a waypoint. Do I want to make a waypoint? Let's. What does this do? I'm gonna set it like way over here, maybe. I don't know what you do. Let's put you like. Uh, let's put you over here-ish. Maybe down here. Put you right here. Hello? A waypoint? Do I... Oh, 512? Okay. Oh, jeez. What just happened? Still 512. What was that? Uh, did we lose anything? Did we... Is everything the same? I think so. Is this, uh... Is it like a fast travel, maybe? Teleports the next existing waypoint to you. Does it mean we go to the next waypoint? Like, if I put one of these up by the hollow rock, and I click on this for 512... Do I again then just immediately go to the hollow rock? I mean, it's not that far away. Oh, wait. Uh, load this. It's not like we can't get there fairly quickly. Okay, we're gonna have to make another one just to see what that does. And if we really don't need it, we can just recycle these. Oh, load our silos. Are we, oh, we're not doing... Okay, I keep not doing this. We definitely need... A silo... Here. Where do we want this? Right there. Uh, this one needs to be loaded as well. We can upgrade... Industrial... Sure. We're doing... Hello? We're doing... We're doing pretty well. I feel. Keep these guys running. Okay. Preheater. We want the preheater here. We also wanted to grab... Oh, these enrichment vat, vats. To boost this preheater. Preheater. 
and maybe we need more at this point since we're getting so much beta pylene we could just make another set of this another set of oxidizers because really Karenite at this point feels like feels like what we need the most a reflector sure Let's just do another one. They're not that expensive. And we... Oh, we probably want the preheater next. We'll stick that... Okay, everything... Everything is too close now. <laughs> Everything's in the way. I guess we could have some sort of setup, though. Can we have them share preheaters? I don't think so. We could have them share enrichment vats in between if we move things around. Like if the preheater goes here. Man, I need like something to... There we go. If this is a preheater... Okay, so this is the reflectors here. This is a preheater. Which means vat, 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 vat. Vat's all around here like this. And then we could make like this corner or something be one of these vats. And that's only one vat that we really save. I don't think that's much of an issue. So maybe it's fine. We're, we're doing okay. We don't need to move things around. Alright, uh, we probably do though need to reload a bunch of silos now. It's about that time. And I will, so I want a preheater here, and I think I want to get a preheater on at least one of these in the center. So we can speed up our Karenite production. How deep are we now? 29k, almost at 30. So this doesn't... Oh, this also doesn't tell us how fast we're going. Oh, load this one. Alright, yeah, we're just... It's really Karenite. So, let us make another set of these oxidizers. Easy enough. We'll load them up. Do I have enough for a silo in here? I do. Let's run that. Yeah, we got like 2 million Elmarine now. I'm pretty sure that's not from these. I'm pretty sure it's not from these. I'm pretty sure that's from Chromolite Decay. Because if I remember correctly, Chromolites decay into... Is it Elmarine, Canatite, and Beta Pylene? Maybe. Where is the irradiator will tell us, right? Chromolites, which are a great source of hell gems, beta pylene, canatite, and elmarine. So the previous four before it. All of these here. So I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure all our elmarine, canatite is all coming from, from our irradiators, essentially. Which is good. We can get rid of all this. That gives us extra silos to work with. And we can get rid of all this. Let's just, you know what? Oh no. I 
inflict one too many and reset the the demolish. And then we don't need this here. We don't need this anymore. And once these are done, we'll delete those. Um, there's our preheater. Let's put it... You know what? Since we're getting rid of these down here, let's put the preheater right here. And then we can put vats around it. Like that. Where's our reflector? We need beta piling for the reflector. And presumably we want another reactor. Because it does specify they don't work near each other. So it sounds like you would want multiples of them. Alright, how are we looking? How about another hell vault? Oh, three million. Yeah, maybe we do need certainly another reactor. another 600k oh we got uh, some lines here grab those and then yeah see the annihilator it takes 2048 that's two hell vaults so I think the next step is we need another reactor so we can get a bunch of beta piling to get up to the 3 million for our second hell vault. And still be able to run these fellas over here. The oxidizers. Alright, these are all done. We don't need all of this. I wonder how close... the re Oh, here's another reactor. How close they can't be. Let's just... Uh, you know what? Let's just put it far away. We'll kind of line it up like this, and we'll put it right there. Oh, but now we're running out of chromolits. Oh, we need another setup of irradiators. Uh, do I want to load this up right now, the silo? I'm not sure. I might want to build up some of my beta piling at the moment. Oh, that's right. The preheater needs to be reloaded. So we need another silo here. Uh, or we could put this silo here is another option. And we lose out on a reflector. Maybe we do that. Although silos, silos are continuing to be cheap. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Let's put the silo there. Get rid of that. Uh, this is out of a whole bunch of materials for our silos. And then I think, okay, we're up to uh, chromolits. We're getting big bursts of chromolits, so maybe we're okay on that. Waypoint. Let's go grab some more of those. Oh, wait, this just went out. There we go. Grab some more of these hollow stones. I wonder how many you can have up there. Short load of that. We're going to do the same setup. Down here. Alright, look at that. We're 900 beta piling. We're doing well. 
preheater. I said we're at 900 beta pylene and I just I just <laughs> used all of it on another preheater. So it looks like these are far enough away because they are working, both of them. Okay, let's run one of these setups here. We also have these refineries. We could start getting our second factory up and running like this one. Let's pop a refinery right here. As soon as we get rid of this. Oh, it's going to take forever because there's no hell gem destabilizer right there. There we go. Alright, get some more reflectors. I want to finish out the reflectors over here. Oh, there it is. And then also want to finish out the irradiators over here. But we need, oh, our celestial foam. We're using too much celestial foam, I think, on... The reactors, perhaps? So we need 331. So we might have to hold off on one of these reactors once it runs out from the silo. Yeah, it is definitely part like resource management game as you try and figure out which, which item you want more and then you hold off on on whatever is using that up in order to build up the other resources you need. Oh, I almost had the reactor. There it is. Grab it. Excellent. And we can, right, we can get rid of this. We don't need this anymore. I know they just, I just saw it rebuild and that reminded me. I'm like, I, I could wait for it, but if I wait for it, I'm probably going to forget that it's there. So I need, I need to get rid of it now. Although I don't know if we get, if we regain, I know we regain the materials from recycling. I guess I could have, I could have looked when I was hovering over it, how much we were getting back. Let's take a quick look here. Are we able to tell? Where's the preheater? No, how about the the reactor? Yeah, I can't tell. I was trying to see. Because there's certain things that use... Oh! 64 million. Get 64 million stones. We've been, we've been at it for a while. We are 30k down into the presumably ground. Uh, we have more things out. Oh, there's that one. This one here. Alright. Looking good. Uh, this over here needs to be... Is this a resonator too? Yes. means on this side we need one here one here and then capacitor here and capacitor there but we are we are we're out of we're out of the Karenite what were we say we're saving up for 
uh, eventually the Hell Vault. But, oh, another reflector. There it is. Okay, that is all set up. Uh, oh, we also need the the enrichment vats to improve uh, the preheater here. And we really don't care about running these vats at all. All right, let's get another set of oxidizers going. Although I, I will say these lines here, slightly, they're slightly annoying. At least, I mean, they're annoying to machines that I don't want to run. I wish I could like right click on these and set ignore. And then that would ignore them having put these lines on there. All right, we also need reflectors down here, but I think at this point, do we just want to save up for that Hell Vault and try and get this Annihilator going? Eight million. Oh, but we need the 300k. For the Celestial Foam. So we would have to get up to the 3 million and maybe turn off one of these reactors. Oh, see, we can't even load this reactor right now. Because we don't have the Celestial Foam. Oh, load this. Make sure we got this going. I'm going to leave this one not running for the moment. Let's take a look at our capacitors. There we go. So we can start mining this celestial foam a little bit faster. All right, and I, I mean, I'm presuming... Oh, wait, where is our celestial foam going? It's not the reactors. Because it's only using 32k. Or maybe it is. Maybe we're just not gaining that fast. There's something that's constantly using it, though. Well, let me come back down here. There's so many different materials being used by so many different things right now. So the irradiators... That uses celestial foam. Converting the foam into chromolits. But it's not using it constantly, right? It just uses it whenever it reloads. Same thing with the reactor. You can grab another reflector. Containment vessel, refineries. Yeah, maybe it's just reloading all these things that's doing it. Okay, something slowed down here. There we go. Get this material streamer tower too. Running these. Let's see, come back up here, Hell Vault. I mean, we're getting close. We're getting close to another Hell Vault. I do want to run this.
And then I think I also want to run these. Eventually, I'm going to replace these vats with irradiators. One million, another 300k though. What is slowed down? This is slowed down. This one as well. We get uh we can get another refinery. It doesn't slow us down too much. And it should help with the the celestial foam. Let's get a refinery, it looks like on this corner. There we go. Yeah, we're just sitting here waiting at the moment. So we have the Hell Gems. We just don't have the Celestial Foam. So maybe we hold off on these here. Once this runs out. Oh man, this is going to take forever to run out. Okay, we got to get rid of this silo. Uh, how about this silo? This silo is almost getting there to be done. How much do silos cost? I'm always worried about... Okay, so that one's done. That's good. About destroying them. They don't cost that much. Maybe we do get rid of it, just to stop it right now. And see if we can build up the Celestial Foam. Yeah, because these, these use 8k, 32k a pop. Get rid of this silo. Make sure we got these all going. Alright, and now we just wait to get our Celestial Foam up. And hopefully we don't lose the rest of this. The Canatite, the Elmarine. We got, we got so much right here. I think it's going to take a while. Yeah, we're already at 100k for the foam. Make another Hell Vault. And then, in order to get the Annihilator, we need 8 million right here. So that's the next step. So once we once we get this other Hell Vault up, it's really about running these Oxidizers constantly. Uh, we, oh, we're out here. And right there. There we go. Uh, let's go grab some hollow stones. As we do more research, I don't know what kind of research we're doing. All right, 200k, very nice. Oh, run this. 
All right, I feel things are going things are going swell. I don't know if this is the most efficient or the fastest we could be doing, but I feel like we're at least making progress. What was that? Oh, that was a bunch of this. Is this still running? Do we still have a... Oh, yeah, we got, still got a silo here that's still working. But at least it's not using that much of our beta piling. Oh, there's one there. And no word from our, our friend either. It's been, if we don't get any text now, it's been, that'll be two episodes. Okay, there's a hell vault. Just stick it right next to you. Excellent. Okay, now we need to go back to running all of this stuff. Which means we need to replace the silo. Load that up. Silo here. Load that up. And load this one. Because it doesn't require a bunch of doesn't require a bunch of chromolith. Doesn't need celestial foam at all. We're just worried about the eight million here. At which point do I even want to make more? More of these? Yeah, look at that. We're getting... They don't work that fast. Uh, well, wait a minute. Hold on. They can work fast, can't they? We need a preheater. Take this out. Preheater. Oh, wow. That was awfully quick. Okay, but of course, the preheater needs to be reloaded so we might want to do the same thing that we were doing over there where oh that's super fast we take we take one of these out and put a silo so we lose a little bit on the preheater we put a silo here which means we also need Silo here, here, and here. That's a lot of silos. Wait, is that in the right spot? I don't think that's in the right spot. Where? Oh, it is in the right spot. It's it's the top of the silo. There. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It looked like it was farther away because I was looking at looking at the top. Now, hopefully this setup is a lot better. And then we could, of course, break all this down and then just duplicate this on the other side. Right? Like, put a, put a preheater here. Oh, if we put a preheater here and then do more oxidizers... These two oxidizers are going to get double preheated. You know what? Let's get rid of this setup. Oh, those were still working. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. And we can't afford a preheater yet. Almost. Oh, no, not almost. We need we need foam. Uh, these things are are out. I can hear them knocking away. Uh, this is out. This one we can't even load yet.
All right, yeah, in order to get this celestial foam back up for another preheater over here, I might have to think about this layout. How to get the most of it. Because, yeah, we could put another preheater here, put oxidizers around it, and then more silos around that. What we could do, just grab this right now. And just do that for now. So we have all these running. Okay, this waypoint, let's test it out. We have enough, we can we can recycle it if we don't need it. Let's come up here. Plop it down there. And then just uh, do this. Oh, that is what it does. Okay, so it's a fast travel. And then like do it again. And here we are at the rock. All right. So, man, that makes me wonder, are there going to be other areas besides the rock that we want to go to? But right now, we don't need millions of Karenite trapped in these waypoints. Because we can just... We can just do this. I don't mind doing that. Especially now that we can zoom out. And it makes travel that much faster. All right, who up here needs refueling? All of you. Uh, you right here. Yep, uh, we're gonna do these as well. You down here, you're just, I mean, you're just hanging out down here. Oh, we could take out this preheater. Since, this, I think we were a little optimistic of making another reactor so soon. Yeah, let's do that, let's come here. Oh, it's streamer tower too though. Get rid of that. Get rid of this. Oh, did they not give us enough? Oh, we went down too fast in the celestial foam. There. Place it. Okay, good. And then now we need we need silos here. And actually this silo can go right here. Which is the same for the silo there. There we go. And you know what? We can we can afford it. Material streamer tower mark three. Let's see what this does. Oh look at this, it's got giant antenna. Oh wow. It really condenses all of those tiny lines into larger lines. Very nice. It just makes it visually less uh, <laughs> less aggressive. So where are we at? We're getting tons of materials everywhere. Where we at is getting the eight million here. And I wonder if these irradiators, the number that we have, is enough to get the chrome bullet. Oh, whoa. Whoa, look at this. Wait, was this here before? This was not here before. This is from the streamer tower. Oh, we have, like, graphs now over time. Oh, look at the hell gems. Just back and forth. Oh, very fascinating. Uh, do we want to load this? We... We kind of don't? I guess we're still a ways away from... Getting 8 million. So sure, let's, let's run this again. 
And we do want to run these. So you might want... We might need more... Or another irradiator or two. Oh, which requires a bunch of celestial foam. So we're going to have to do the same thing where we hold off on the irradiators, hold off on the reactors to get the celestial foam up to get more irradiators. <laughs> But at least we have a plan. Is there a, a tower mark four? It does not look like it. So it looks like that's the max for the tower. And then nothing new after grabbing that tower. No. So yeah, the last thing we have to build is just the annihilator here. And we'll be getting void, which I'm sure is going to add, you know, a dozen more different machines in order for us to utilize the void for something. How far down are we? 33k. And we have, oh, we needed another capacitor over there. Can we afford another capacitor? We can. There we go. So now besides having more factories on the corners there, which we can get... And then we'll have we'll have both of these not fact oh, I keep calling them factories these refineries these refineries once we get this refinery then both of these factories will be completely set up there we go And where are we at? We're at 3 million. Oh, this is all out. Ooh, industrial silo in the middle here. I'm going to wait till it goes out again. Then we'll, we'll upgrade these silos. Because I feel like with these uh, preheaters here, they're going to go quickly. Especially these ones in the middle. Look at that. Oh, that is great. That is great. Okay, but we're at over an hour, so that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, we're on our way. We're on our way to discovering what we get when we start annihilating when we start annihilating hell gems. Uh, but once again, this has been 64. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you made it this far, thanks for watching.